Oh, OK. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, when you are doing a problem, when you're doing a, um, when you're trying to write the equation of the line, all right, that is going to be parallel to another equation, um, and that goes through a certain point, there's a couple things we want to be able to make sure we know. And it really depends on the question. Um, I know some questions on your baseline saying write the equation in point slope form, or write the equation in um, slope intercept form, or also in standard form. Well, most often we're going to be graphing and using slope intercept form. So in this example, I'm going to write the equation, or at least think about to writing the equation in slope intercept form. So if I'm going to write the equation in slope intercept form, I need to make sure I can identify what my slope is and what my y-intercept is. Now, this is just a point that the graph goes through. So this represents a x and a y coordinate point that the graph goes through. The slope, if the line is parallel to this line, then we know that it has to have exactly the same slope. Because in geometry, remember, you talk about parallel lines never intersect. So they're going to have exactly the same slope. So I, knew my, I know my new slope is going to be a negative 2 thirds. So if I want to write the equation of the line, I'll do one, one example one way and another example the other way. So I'll just use slope intercept form in this case. So I can plug in what I know for slope, which is has to have the same slope as this one. And then this represents a coordinate point that the graph goes through. So I can plug those in for x and y. So by doing that, I end up having negative 1 equals negative 2 thirds, which represents my m, times x, which is 9, plus b. I still don't know what the y-intercept is. But if I plug in the slope and the y and the point, coordinate point, x, x, y, and m, I can now solve for b, which would be my y-intercept. So therefore, this simplifies to 3. I have negative 1, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus b. Add 6 to both sides. I have positive 5 equals b. So now I know that b equals positive 5, m equals negative 2 thirds. Can I now write the equation on my line? Yeah. y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5. I'm done. OK. Anybody have any questions on that? Yeah. 